Well, at a time when we're all thinking of our immune systems and what we are, uh, what kind of germs we're exposing ourselves to, one Arizona family is trying to make playtime a little safer for the kiddos with compromised immune systems. So Jamie has more on this. Yeah, this all goes back Look to that cute uh, girl. She is a cute. Uh, she's right behind me. <laughs> uh, well, it was Lily's dad. She uh, he says that he was just absolutely heartbroken when he had to tell cute little Lily no, they could not stop at the playground to play. Lily had leukemia; her body just couldn't handle it. He says that moment really rattled his heart, and he was inspired to create a safe playground for kids with compromised immune systems. Lily's pad will be a hyper clean play space for children battling cancer, blood disorders, kidney diseases, etc. Through donations, they have a 5,800 square foot space in Tempe for an indoor playground and an architectural rendering of what that playground will look like. The, the thought of being able to put my arm around uh, another family member and say, look, we went through this, uh, you know, the, the medicine and, and it's amazing. It, it, obviously, my daughter is cancer free now. And, and I look back on that and my daughter's so excited to be able to play with the other children and say, like, my name's Lily. I am. I'm Lily yeah. and I beat it. and You can beat it, too. So yes, six-year-old Lily is cancer-free after three years of battling leukemia. Lily's pad needs donations to make this play space happen. So to donate, we have a link on our website, azfamily.com. And Brad just really, really, really looks forward to the day that, uh, sure, Lily, go ahead and play. No you, worry about yeah, it. No and doubt all about those it. other kids who are going through procedures, you too. Something we wouldn't even think about, yeah. right? So what a great idea. Thanks, Jamie.